Minneapolis, James Cottrell speaking. Have you ever wondered why things happen to you? Is there a real world out there beyond the physical world that people call the cosmos or the spiritual world? Is human consciousness more than simply being a personality or memory of what's going on in your life? Where do thoughts come from? Do I have a soul? Am I intuitive? Or is there's just my uh, overactive imagination? What is the difference between imagination, intuition, and intellect? Well, in this series of uh, videos, I'm going to be discussing a question from time to time. I have a list here. I'd like you to send them in. Info at DouglasJamesCottrell.com is the email you can use. My website is www.DouglasJamesCottrell.com. If you're interested in developing yourself, uh, your intuition, uh, exploring the powerful mind you have within or the, the power within that mind that we call the middle mind, the intuitive mind. It's in combination with the lower mind, the personality, uh, conscious intellectual mind and that of the superconscious or the soul mind. We're going to discuss that and you can find out more about, uh, well, in some of my books here that I have behind me and or on the website. Okay, with that little bit about me, uh, to the questions. Here are some of the questions I'll be answering in the future. Uh, when I try to meditate, I can't turn my mind off. It keeps racing. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Well, yes, I do. It's called the chattering mind, and I can teach you how to get past that chattering mind to focus your attention and to stop your mind from wandering because meditation is an active state. It's not a vegetation state. Contemplation, quieting of the mind, looking within, reflections, uh, stilling the mind so that you empty your mind of the day's woes, worries, difficulties, and concerns. That is one asset of uh, your meditative ability. But the point is that you want to develop that mind to be more than simply a vegetative state or a state of quietness. And this is where the chattering mind from the intellect, the memory, the emotions of the day gets in the way of quieting that still, small voice mind within. I'm calling it the middle mind because out there many people have such names um, that maybe confuse you or give you the wrong idea or give you a perspective or an opinion or interpretation of what that vast mind in, that powerful mind that you have within, that you touch upon during dream states and other activities when you touch upon the feeling, sensing, and the other ability. You are a sentient being that has a vast mental capability combined with a spiritual mind that's within. And it's still quiet and it really doesn't uh, want any notice. It doesn't wave its arm ferociously and say, hey, listen to me. It gives you a small hint. Oprah Winfrey calls it the aha uh -huh moment, which you get something and you don't know where it came from, like don't get in the car. And then you go in the car and you find the car stalls a few blocks away, it's out of gas. You had that premonition or that precognitive thought just before you got into the car. So that aha uh -huh moment, as Oprah relates to it, is along the way that you'll find interpretations or names given for a variety of everyday occurrences that are related to the middle mind or that most powerful mind that you have within. Dreams, visions, what goes on while you sleep is much, much more than active imagination just reminiscing and, and going over the day's events. It can reach out in time. It can look back in time. That's the power of this middle mind. I like to call my method of meditation quantum meditation. And quantum meditation means to me an active state of mind where you can use this ability to find things out, help make decisions to find out more about what's going to happen or more exactly how you can avoid some difficulty or where you can go and look for opportunities. That's a pretty powerful state of mind to be in. I have a series of books. Uh, the Secrets Within is uh, a, 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 a book, sorry, it's not a book, it's a title that you should be looking at inside, making up your own book, The Secrets Within. And you'll find as you go on this self-discovery that you can look at some of these other books I have. The most current one is uh, the Akashic Field, uh, and we have uh, the New Earth, which talks about forward-looking. You can read these books and find out more about how your mind works, uh, but if you just want to pay attention to these commercials uh, uh, and read my books, that's one thing. If you want to listen to that instruction or that intellect, that's another, and this is what these videos are all about. So, how do you stop that chattering mind? 
This is a secret. You breathe very slowly, very calmly, and you try to stop your mind from diverting and going off and thinking about the day's events by looking at something in your mind. It could be a spot, a dot, it could be uh, an orb, it could be a shape, it could be uh, something that you imagine, uh, for instance a ball, a hoop, a portal, whatever that item is you choose, this is what you concentrate on and you keep your mind, that is to say your mind's eye, looking at that object. And as you continue to breathe slowly, you will naturally have your mind go off and say, what happened at work today when you had trouble at the coffee pot or when somebody criticized you or somebody told a rumor about you or somebody cut you off in traffic or somebody jumped on the bus before you. Focus back on that object in your mind. This is the start to how to control the chattering mind. And if you want more information about meditation, again, my website is douglasjamescultural.com. And I'll be here next time to tell you more. Let's talk about why do bad things keep happening to me? And what is instant karma? Is the president suffering instant karma where he says one thing and he does something that seems to be harmful to somebody and then he immediately is held accountable, accountable for it and some bad things happen to him? Well, that could be instant karma. We're in a time and age where things are accelerated and it's time for you to develop your abilities and that intuitive skill that I'm talking or referring to as the middle mind is here free of charge for you to develop your intuitive abilities. This is Douglas James Cottrell speaking and again my website is www.douglasjamescottrell.com and if you look on a Google search you'll find that I'm out there almost everywhere. Okay, after 45 years of doing this I might know a thing or two and I want to impart my wisdom to you so you too can develop yourself to be the best you can be. God bless. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.